Hi, I'm Georgia from the Museum of Contemporary Art Australia. I'm thrilled to be receiving a Marsh Award, uh, which I'll accept on behalf of the whole student and teacher engagement team at the MCA. I'm really honoured to work with a passionate and dedicated team of artist educators and program coordinators who are really committed to producing um, inspiring, innovative and challenging learning experiences for students and teachers. At the MCA, we work with a team of artist educators who are practising artists um, that we work with to develop and deliver all of our learning programs, not just for students and teachers, but for all of the audiences that we work with in the MCA learning team. We work with artists as educators because we recognise artists as people who can help us look, think and create in new ways. In our learning programs for students and teachers, we're interested in exploring what creative learning looks like through engagement with contemporary art. So we aim to develop learning experiences which are playful and active and that support students and teachers to create their own pathways of connection with artworks. We do this through creative learning strategies and inquiry questions that emphasise the idea of bringing your own story to an artwork and taking away fresh meaning through shared learning experiences. In studio sessions we open up opportunities uh, for students and teachers to engage in a practical way with some of the ideas, materials, processes that they've encountered through artworks in, um, in our galleries. Emphasising the idea of process over product by offering up space and freedom to play, to explore, to take risks. Uh, to experiment and collaborate. The student and teacher engagement team at the MCA develop a range of program for uh, diverse learning audiences. So we work with students, we work with teachers, we work with early learning groups, um, we work with students with specific needs and we also engage with audiences remotely through digital excursions and through digital learning resources. One of the key learning programs we run is our Bella program for students with specific needs. This program provides opportunities for um, children and young people with a range of needs to engage with contemporary art in the galleries and come back to our learning centre to have um, practical experiences in our creative studios. A key component of the program is the opportunity to experience our Bella Room, which is a dedicated artist commission which provides space for children and young people to engage with the contemporary artwork through sensory experience. So our current Bella Room is by an artist called David Capra and his work Tina's Bath Time explores issues of anxiety and, uh, and the ways that we can help ourselves and others overcome anxiety. So in Tina's Bath Time the artist has taken inspiration from his sausage dog Tina who is very nervous about uh, having her bath. And so through his artwork, he invites Bella audiences to help Tina through this experience and find ways to help her overcome her anxiety. So we might give Tina a pat, we might give her a rub down with some brushes, we might sing her a lullaby or explore new ways of helping her feel calm and able to take on that bathing experience. In Australia, we have a very big country with a small population spread out and as a national organisation we're interested in exploring ways that we can connect with students in areas who might not have direct access to a museum or a gallery or any opportunity to engage directly with contemporary art. So through our digital excursion program we're able to connect remotely with students in their classrooms across the country and our artist educators deliver a range of creative learning experiences for them that engage with artworks in the MCA collection. We're also interested in exploring new ways of working with artists uh, to create opportunities for students to have a direct experience of an artwork through a remote connection or through an online learning experience. The MCA Australia has a long history of presenting the work of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists. So contemporary Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander art practice forms a really important part of our learning programs here. We work closely with Aboriginal artist educators and curators to develop learning programs that are informed by Indigenous ways of knowing, learning and understanding and that emphasise the voices of Aboriginal artists. 